Good day, brothers and sisters. This video is going to be a little different. Now, this is the sky footage I got the other day. We're going to do a couple edits to a couple things, but there's a story I want to start telling you because there is an immense amount of dreams and a lot of things that I'm being shown. Some of these things are for me. Some of these things are for me to share. So I'm going to start with a dream I had last night. And we're going to go into Jeremiah 7. And we're going to go in to why I think these things are happening. What's going to happen. Why and how it's happening right now. And this is going to take us into my new song. Which I have not recorded yet. Of this recording. Of this making of this video. I have not recorded this video yet. Or this music song yet. This music song. is I haven't recorded this song yet. <laughs> All right, so stick with me on this, all right? I woke up last night. Now, I wake up a lot. I wake up two, three times a night with having dreams, all right? Everything I'm about to tell you is 1,000% real. I don't lie to you. I'm not trying to get you to think that I'm some kind of saint or some kind of prophet. I don't, or some, or some heathen or some antichrist or even some Christ figure. I don't want you thinking anything of me. I want you taking the information that I'm going to give you, and I want you in your spirit your path with God and to take what you're getting out of what I'm giving you and I want you to come up with your own thing don't give thanks to me give thanks to our heavenly father now when I woke up last night in the middle of the night at 1 30 in the morning on March 29th the first sentence I wrote down was hell is a very cold place Hell is very cold. So as I'm in this place, it's a beach. It's nighttime. It's a beach. I'm with a couple family members to be specific. My wife, my sister, and my mother. All right. Which is very weird because I wouldn't be at a place that I'm about to be at. Now we're at this beach. It's nighttime. It's like a party, all right? It's like a rave. This ain't the first time of a dream of a party or some kind of festival that I was at recently. But at this one, it was also underground. So there was this warehouse and you would enter through the underground. This place was packed. And I mean, shoulder to shoulder packed. And all I can remember thinking is like, why do we want to be here right now? This place is disgusting. There's not even any room for it to move around. I was like, I am not staying in this place. I'll be waiting out in the car. Y'all do whatever you want to do. I'll be waiting out in the car. So I make my way to the car. And once I got close to the parking lot, I was like, damn, my keys. I don't got my keys on me. Oh, that's right. My wife's got them. So let me make my way back into this filth. So I make my way back into this thing. And... Like the, all the other dreams, I got free access to wherever I want to go. I can go wherever I want. I could do whatever I want. So I go to like these backstage areas and stuff trying to get away my way around because there's it's so packed. I can't get through the normal way. So as I'm going through the back way, I end up going through this catwalk. And on this catwalk, this black lady, all right, there was a bunch of black people partying up there. And then this black lady... And you, you got to understand that this, these colors have a, a significance because all these black people were on top overlooking everybody and all the white people were on the bottom, completely separated, completely segregated. Blacks and whites were separate, okay? Now, as I'm walking across this catwalk, this black lady dressed in all this raver gear from head to toe, even her hair, just drops onto the catwalk possessed in like some kind of crazy like dancing like dancing possessed even as she's falling to her back and landing on her back she's dancing and i'm like what i was like this is crazy and everybody's looking at her laughing at her and shit and i'm waiting for her to stop so i could walk past her she did not so you know what i did i walked right over her and i kept going i get to the end of the catwalk where the stairs are and then there's this white lady and it's how I even interacted with this white lady was because she had a familiar face. She's somebody I used to know, somebody I used to work with. Now, needless to say, again, this is a raver type of situation and she is butt naked. All right. 
butt naked, all right? So this nakedness is happening. And I'm like, look, I'll get you down the steps real quick. Just follow me, all right? So we get down the steps real quick, and I know I'm wearing in these skates, and I flew down these steps. And next thing I know... She's trying to get me to touch her. And I'm sitting there going, man, you are disgusting. How how do you feel about yourself? I'm sitting there and I'm literally looking at her trying to get, because she's grabbing on my hand. And I'm like, who do you think you are? What are you doing? Don't you feel disgusted in yourself? This is degrading. This is disgusting. You should have more respect for yourself. Now, the dream ended right then and there. Because that, that was it. I put the skate on her as hard as I could. And I pushed away from her. And I woke up feeling the most nastiest feeling for people. And their fornication. So what gets me to fornication? The trans community. Okay. Now we're outside the dream. Now we're in real life, people. The trans community. All right. They, uh, let's even talk about the drill community. The drill music community. The trans. The rap music. Everything. Everything is about this fornication. Now, this for fornication and how people are so confused about themselves and everything like that has to deal with what? I guarantee you it has to deal with the geoengineering about the pole shift because it's man-made. Them putting these metals in the sky and our food and everything we eat, drink, breathe is driving us crazy. It's making people insane, not making the right choices, and they're doing the most ungodly things. Which leads me to Jeremiah 7, which I believe a great judgment is upon us. Now, I don't think the bodies are just going to drop. I believe we are run by spirits and souls. And I believe God, whenever God comes, he's going to wipe clean of the land of these spirits. So you're going to want to fornicate, but you're not going to have any feeling of doing it. You're not going to want to anymore. Or you're just going to wither away. I don't know. Now let me make a correction. This is Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 7. Alright. Jeremiah 4 verse 7. It says the lion is come. From his thicket. And the destroyer of the Gentiles. Is on his way. The destroyer. He has gone forth. From the place. To make thy land desolate. And thy city shall be laid to waste without an inhabitant. So our bodies, brothers and sisters. Let me know what you think. Stay safe and be blessed, brothers and sisters. When I woke. When I looked outside, this became everything. Seeing building blocks of life, heads on their chariots. When I woke, seeing building blocks of life with the heads on the chariots. It's my charity to give this knowledge away for free in the time when knowledge is increasing.